friends, how are you? Today I'm going to read you a story called Not Norman. All of you, um, well, most of you know how much I love animals and I have plenty of pets, but one that I do not have is a goldfish. So I really like this story. Um, we're going to be talking about it afterwards and I want you to think really hard about the learner profile traits and tell me which one you think that the, the main character in our story is exemplifying, okay? All right, Not Norman. This book is written by Kelly Bennett and illustrated by Noah Jones. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet. Not Norman. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings. A soft furry pet to sleep on my bed at night. Not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and around and around and around and around and around. This is it, Norman. I decide I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy that I have to laugh. <laughs> Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe somebody will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Hey, want to swap one of your puffs for Norman, I ask. Who's Norman, asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. But by the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me all googly-eyed. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone! Who let my snake loose? Does anyone hear the story of how, does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No, they're all jumping and screaming and chasing this snake. Not Norman, he's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as, it's over, as soon as it is over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. I glance over at Norman. He's swaying back and forth. Glug, 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 he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when screech, screech. What's that noise? Scratch, screech, screech. Yikes, there's something at the window. Then out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. 
I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and birds. I look at the hamsters and mice and lizards too. They all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him, but now even if I could pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. So what I, the profile trait that I think that this story shows an example of, have you thought of it yet? It's being open-minded. When we are open-minded, we, we look at other people's points of view and we respect them. And when this little boy's parents gave him the goldfish, they thought it would be a perfect pet for him. And he was just, he didn't believe it. And he didn't, he just was like, I'm not keeping it. I don't want a fish. That's it. And as the story went on, he became more open-minded and realized, hey, a fish isn't so bad after all. And then when it was all over, because he was open-minded, he realized, you know what? A fish is one of the best pets I could ever have. So it all turned out great. Hope you liked the story and there will be a, an activity on Seesaw for you to um, answer some questions about this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.